Uh, so the work in the exhibition that I have includes three drawings, uh, one oil painting on paper and then a four panel oil painting. They represent three different bodies of work and uh, I decided this year to kind of have a sampling of, of different pieces. This is uh, a work on paper. It includes graphite, um, modeling paste, uh, as well as some staining through acrylic. It's titled Buffalo Soldier, and it's part of a drawing series I started uh, back in 2008, and um, I just never finished the series, and I put it away. And after about, um, well, up until last year, I brought them out again and started reworking them and going back into them and um, came to a resolution. I, I really like the idea that the, the graphite and the modeling paste are embedded into the paper so that the image isn't just sitting on top of the paper, but, but that the image is actually part of the paper. It's, it grows out of the paper. I was using a disc grinder and turning the disc grinder on the side to cut out these small shapes. And then after the paper was exposed, I went back in and stained it with um, beeswax to protect the surface and that allowed me to go back in and stain again. So the, the, the drawing is really a series of additive and subtractive processes. But really, in the end, my intention is that the image is embedded into the surface of the paper. So this is Buffalo Soldier. And if I point down uh, to the far wall, uh, you can see that there's two other drawings uh, that are in this series. And that the, the kind of cellular forms or the circular forms, and again, the encrusted surface is, is part of this body of work. Over here, uh, I have a work that I titled The Medievalist, Medievalist, and uh, it's part of a chandelier series, again, that I started maybe 10 years ago. I did a body of work at that time, and then most recently, I started to include the chandelier again uh, for some recent paintings. And um, I, I have no affinity to the chandelier. Um, I think it's a dumb image. I mean, most chandeliers today that are modern are plugged into an electrical outlet, and uh, they, they have these little candle forms, so it's a, it's a weird kind of image. But I selected it because chandeliers are symmetrical, uh, predictable, uh, and I wanted to use it as an image, um, like a scaffolding. And so in this image, you can see that I'm I'm taking great liberty at dissecting the image, deconstructing the image, building it back up, um, allowing color to bleed from one form to the next um, to create this overall kind of light. And so I don't mean light like you turn on a light switch and see a brightness, but rather the way that color on the surface interacts with itself interacts with uh, modulations of texture, where there's a syncopation of light and dark, warm and cool, fractured versus whole. Um, all of those kinds of contrasts are part and parcel, I think, of the surface here. Um, and, I, and I like the fact that in this painting, there's a lot of different ways that paint is applied. Um, you know, there's dabbing and there's scraping and there's sanding and there's, you know, direct painting. And then there's even some essence of atmospheric conditions. And so uh, I like the fact that this chandelier is able to, to handle all of those different techniques. So the title of this work is Dog in Lead, and um, it's really a summation of walking our dog down by uh, the Blue River near Pack and Save. There's a wooded area, and uh, the river kind of meanders through that wooded area, and um, whether it's in the summer, uh, fall, winter, spring, it's just been an enjoyable place to spend about an hour of time. And uh, in this particular painting, I, uh, I, th I think a lot about uh, the winter season, especially, and uh, the interaction of the frozen river um, and my, my bodily kind of kinesthetic relationship to seeing the river, walking on the water when it's frozen with our dog, um, and then just seeing the changes as, as the weather warms up. Um, where ice begins to melt and uh, you see the running water again. So 
in this image, uh, there's, there's, for me, there's evidences of all of those different memories that uh, I've tried to put into these four panels. This painting is actually a very old painting. It dates to my thesis exhibition in 1997. I decided I would go back into it and change the image completely. And so part of the process for me is, um, is uh, reworking old images and then also um, because it's a, an image of four panels that are put together, it allows me to rotate not only the total image, but it also allows me to rotate each of the individual panels to brainstorm compositional ideas, if that makes sense. And so in some instances, there's some off-putting uh, compositional choices, you know, where, where it might seem very uh, connected on this left panel. On the right panel, it's, uh, there's a severe kind of disjunction with the white space here and then this darker area above it. Um, but I like that fracturing, that um, fragmented view, because I think that's how we experience the world. Um, it's, we take all of these different experiences and we try to find the logic behind them. Well, I want to thank Aaron Nix for putting this video series together. Um, he was behind the camera and also he had help from Patrick Schnee Schneeberger, a student of ours. Um, and so I think this is a terrific idea um, to capture a, a little bit of the exhibition uh, so that many of you can see it. Um, I also want to invite you to the show. It runs through um, March 25th. The gallery is open f uh, seven days a week, except when classes are not in session. So spring break, for instance, will be closed. But you're welcome to visit in person and uh, take as long as you want in here. Um, if, if any of you have questions, feel free to reach out uh, and get a hold of me as well.